tip number one, the page numbers. So as you can see on this Word document, there's no page numbers. So we will insert page number here. How to do that? We go to insert and then look for page number. Click here. And then just think of where you want to put your page number. I want it on top of the page and at the middle. So as you can see, there's page 1 here and then page number 2, page number 3. Okay. Now, if I don't want the first page to have a page number, so I will just click here, different first page. Okay, so it's now gone. You can also, what's this? Format. Okay. You choose the number format you like. You choose from here, from the choices. And then you just click OK. So that's how we insert page numbers on our Word document. Number two, let's convert text to table. Say, for example, these words here. For the month, we have January, February, March. The name under name, we have Jen, Ed, and Al. And we want to convert this text to table. So highlight it all. Go to insert. And then on the table, you click the arrow down. Click on convert text to table. So we expect two columns. And then here, separated at commas. So OK. So now we have a table. If you want to change the table style, you may do so. You just choose here. Okay, what do you like? You okay, see, for example, this one here. You can also change the shading. Okay, it's up to you. You can always put this text at the center. So you just highlight it all. Highlight the text. Go to home. And then at the center, this one here. Click. And you can also adjust the width if you want to adjust it. You may do so. And you can always go back to convert to text. Okay, this one here. If you want to remove the table form, you click on this. This is under layout and then convert to text. Commas. Okay. So that's how we convert text to table. Let's discuss about quick delete. This is our tip number three. Usually on the Word document, once we delete, we go to that text that we want to remove, and then we just simply press backspace. So it's deleting one letter at a time. But if we want to remove the text faster, then we press on control and then backspace. So as you can see, it's actually erasing the word, not just the uh, letters. So that's how we delete or remove text the faster way. Tip number four is the autocorrect setup. Say you are writing a long narrative and you get tired of typing the same words over and over again, you can make use of the autocorrect setup. Say for example, these words, World Health Organization. So to insert this one in the autocorrect setup, you go to File, click on File. At the bottom, we can see the options. Click on the options. Go to Proofing. And then here, Autocorrect Options. Click on that. Okay, now you can type in the word. Say, for example, WH. So whenever I type WH, this should appear. World Health organization so i will click on the add and then okay so let us click on okay here so say for example i will type wh and then click on enter so there you go again wh click on enter so that's an easy way to type in words on your document. Tip number five, let's discuss uppercase and lowercase. You can actually go here on the upper portion of your tab to change the case of your 
letters or your text. So you can change it to lowercase, uppercase, capitalize each word or toggle case. Now, there's a shortcut to it. Say these words, happy birthday. You can sh press on, shift, and then F3. So that's lowercase. You can press on again. So that's capitalizing each word. And that's uppercase. So that's how we change uppercase to lowercase and vice versa. Again, you just press on your keyboard, shift, F3. Let's proceed to tip number six, the links. Example that we want to insert a link on this text, sample poem or halimbawa ng tula. Tula is a Filipino term for poem. So let's highlight the word and then go to insert, links, okay. click on the arrow down, click on insert link, and then you Browse, find that file of the sample or halimbawa ng tula. So this one here. Click OK. So when I press Control and then click on this, that's the example. So when you close the Word document and then you click again, Control. So that's the example. So that's how we insert a link on your Word document. If you want to remove the link, you can do so. Just right click and then go to remove hyperlink. Let's proceed to tip number seven, pictures and shapes. So how do we insert pictures on your Word document? You go to insert and then go to pictures. Okay, say for example... I choose the picture of an elephant here. What can we do with this picture? We can resize. Okay. You can also crop if you like. So when you crop, you can adjust the sides, the corners. Okay. So like that. You can also change the color. You can put in artistic effects, transparency, corrections, you can position it at the center. Okay. Now you can also remove the background, this one here. Okay. So this violet color around the elephant will be removed, but there are portions that we want to retain. So mark areas to keep. Let's just slightly make a stroke here and here and this one here. Okay. Okay, like that. I think this will be okay now. If you're satisfied, you click on Keep Changes. Okay. So now you have an elephant without a background. You can change the picture style. Say for example this or this one. Now we go to Shapes. To insert shapes on our Word document, you go to Insert. And then shapes, you choose or select the shape that you want. I choose the heart. And then press on the shift key and then drag. This way we can get a perfect shape. So we can change the color, go to shape fill. Okay, I'll choose red. You can also put in effects on your the shape. Say shadow, reflection, glow, soft edges, bevel, 3D rotation. Say I want a reflection. This one here. Let's choose another shapes. Let's say star. So again, press on the shift key, then drag. I'll change the color to this one. 
I'll add again reflection. This one. Let's add one more shape. Say the circle. Press on the shift key and then drag. I'll change its color to yellow. And the effects um, reflection. As you can see, when I move this circle here, the heart and the stars, the star rather, will not be affected. It will stay at is. But when we group them together, so how to group, you may press on control and then individually you click on that. Go to format and then this one here, click on group. So they will move together.